All right, guys, welcome. And we got the Friday edition of NBA DFS. Um, a lot of people are thinking that it's going to be kind of a lower scoring slate. And a lot of people aren't that excited about this one, but I kind of like it. It's going to be kind of a sneaky slate. You know, you got some sneaky value plays and then kind of just kind of take what the board gives you. And I really don't mind that. Let's start off here with the point guards. Now, Dante Axon and uh, so Donovan Mitchell's out. Then also Burks is looking like he's out as well. So that's going to mean more minutes for Axon. In two games that he's had over 24 minutes, he's averaged 25 DK points. So I do think he'll get you around that 25-minute mark, which should equate to at least 20 DK points at the very minimum. So he is a strong value play. You can almost lock him in. Mike Conley, I do like as well. So in his last uh, game against Utah, he went for 43 DK points. And then, you know, he just kind of seems like a safe 35 uh, DK play tonight. And then you can maybe go with him on FanDuel as well if you want. I don't like him as much on there. L.A. Okobu, now, you know, he just looks good. You know, it's kind of, I don't know if you guys watched Malcolm Brogdon his rookie year. He just kind of got it. He, he just kind of knew how the NBA worked and the plays and his abilities. Well, Okobu, you know, he has that kind of same feeling to him. And even if this game blows out, I still think he's going to get the minutes. He should get at least 28 minutes, and I think he'll get you around 24 DK points tonight. Really not a bad option again. Um, you know, Steph Curry, I don't mind. He's almost averaging 10 three-pointers per game. So, you know, if he's hitting his three-pointers, just going to be a great play for you. I also like Russell Westbrook. If you can get up to Westbrook over Curry, I would definitely encourage that. I think Westbrook is going to be the stronger play just because he, he's a little bit safer, and he also has the same ability to, ability to pop, maybe gets a triple-double. Derrick Rose, I don't mind if Jeff Teague is out, but that's really contingent on Jeff Teague being out. Um, if he's not, he looks more like a 25 DK play instead of a 30 DK play. So it's really contingent on that. Now, Victor Oladipo, um, he's going to be going against Zach Levine uh, and Zach Levine's defense. And he, Zach Levine's horrible at defense, so all he does is care about offense. If Depot gets Levine on defense, uh, guarding him, He's just going to be a really nice play. Obviously, he's really priced up, so you know that's, that kind of hurts him a little bit. But you know he's had four straight games with almost over 40 DK points, so really don't mind him as an option as well. Jimmy Butler, you could definitely go with as well. You know, it should be a close game, and close games he's averaged over 48 DK points. So they only had one game, which was a blowout. Let's get into the small forwards here. I think Danilo Gallinari, you can just go back to the well with him. Him and Tobias Harris, they're kind of plays that are fit for this slate where they both kind of get you around 30 DK points, and it's just a matter of which one does better on a given night. It should get you around 70 DK points if you play both of those, which on the slate shouldn't be bad. Now, uh, Crowder here, he's had a 6.5 usage bump last year when uh, Donovan Mitchell was off the floor, so I don't mind him. And he's just kind of been consistent this uh, year so far. I think he'll get you around 25 DK points tonight. Royce O'Neal is another one with Burks and Mitchell out as well. I do think uh, Royce O'Neal will get around like three more minutes of work possibly. He got 18 minutes last game. So if he does get more minutes, I think he could get you around 18 DK points, which at his price, that's really not too bad, especially for this slate. Now, I also do like uh, Tim Hardaway. He's just in the absolute smash spot against Dallas, so I don't mind him if you want to play him. Uh, TJ Warren. Just seems kind of like an easier play. You saw 36 minutes last last game in a blowout. You know, in his last two games, he's averaging 16.5 shots, which equated to 31 DK points, so not a bad option there. <coughs> Clint Capella, another solid option. He's going against the Brooklyn Nets, who aren't that good at defense. If James Harden is out, I really like Clint Capella. So if James Harden is in, I think I'm just going to go down to Wendell Carter on DraftKings. Um, just because on DraftKings, Wendell Carter is a little bit too cheap. He's priced at 5K. You know, there's been it's been a while since he hasn't at least hit the value at that salary. So, um, on FanDuel, I think you can just go with Capella or possibly Steven Adams. Now, Draymond Green's another play that I really don't mind. He seems like just kind of almost a safe 6x play on tonight's slate, especially if that game stays close. If it blows out, now he might not be as safe of a play. But, you know, he just seems safe and consistent for at least 30 DK points with upside to get you around 42 DK points. So really not bad options on this slate. We'll be posting lineups on the Patreon page. Hope you guys take a look. Let's have a good night. Thanks.